Praise the Lord Church. Today's Bible meditation is taken from Ezekiel chapters 10 and 11, Proverbs chapter 2 and Luke chapter 4. If you're new to Living God family, a very warm welcome to you in Jesus' name. Hope this video will be a blessing to you as you hear and listen to the thoughts as we read through the Bible together. I encourage you to read the chapters during your personal devotion time and become recipients of listening to God's voice daily. Ezekiel chapter 10 verse 4 the glory of the Lord rose from above the cherubim and moved to the threshold of the temple. The cloud filled the temple and the court was full of the radiance of the glory of the Lord. Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 19 I will give them an undivided heart and put a new spirit in them. I will remove from them their heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh. Proverbs chapter 2 verse 5 then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Luke chapter 4 verse 25 and 26 I assure you that there were many widows in Israel in Elijah's time when the sky was shut for three and a half years and there was a severe famine throughout the land. Yet Elijah was not sent to any of them but to a widow in Zarephath in the region of Sidon. God the Almighty, our Heavenly Father, gives divine opportunities to have divine appointments to the humble. God chose the widow out of all the people in Zarephath to feed Elijah, a woman who herself was lacking, was given an opportunity to feed the man of God. A divine appointment and in obedience experienced the oil of jar never dried in her home. Today, when we submit to God in humility and give all the best that we can in the opportunities He opens for us, He will bless our lives. Our jars will never dry out as our cups will be overflowing with the oil of salvation that provides restoration, redemption and reconnection to our Heavenly Father. Thanks be to God for the gift of salvation. Praise be to our wonder-working God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for the privilege of your time in watching the videos and being part of Living God community. God bless you all abundantly as we are all created to be holy and happy in Christ Jesus. Amen.